Alright, so here it is. This is my completed TLR 8XE Elite. I did use the yellow wheels. These are the AKA I-beams in the front and rear. Use the yellow sticker package, kind of the neon yellow greenish sticker package. That comes with the kit just accents these wheels and makes everything flow together real nice. And overall, I am very happy about the way this thing turned out. Great build, very high quality. And now that everything's painted up, I think it just looks awesome. I used Tamiya Lexan paints. I used the metallic blue for this rear section, the Tamiya light blue for this middle, and a white in the front to kind of give it that faded appearance. And one of my favorite paints from Tamiya is that metallic blue. I love the flake effect. Just love the way it goes on. It just looks really cool. I didn't go crazy with the decals. I did use a few, one for the rear wing, a couple for the body, but overall I didn't go nuts. But there was an included 40th anniversary sticker. losi has been around since 1980, the year I was born. So I guess being 2021, it is now 41 years. On the inside, you can see everything went together real nice. I got the ESC and the motor combo. Everything went together real well. There's a 15 tooth pinion included with the kit. So I did marry that up, mesh all that up. Now for now, I used XT60 plugs. I thought I had 90s. I cannot find them. So I put some 60s on here. I purposely left this wire long just in case I decided to cut this back and put some 90s on there eventually. But to get me going, to get things started, I used the 60s that I had available. Now the servo, I did have to jam in a little bit because of the servo bracket, the way things are mounted in. I felt like I kind of forced it in there, which isn't maybe the best thing to do. However, it worked, everything's working well, but I maybe should have dremeled maybe the back end of the mount. Techno has a similar setup and I just always feel like I'm jamming the servos in there. So if I'm doing something wrong, not really sure what I'm doing wrong, but I just feel like they should give you a little bit more room for that plug that comes off of the servo. Losi includes a plastic servo horn with kind of a metal insert. I just kind of skipped all that and I used a Techno 25 tooth servo horn that I had available. And I used one of the option parts. The kit comes with kind of a blue rubber piece, but I went ahead and installed the optional spring for the steering rack. I really like the included carbon fiber top mount piece for the center diff and this receiver box left plenty of room for my receiver and all of the wires now i do have a camber tool so i did set the camber to negative two and i also set the toe for the front wheels so now that everything is in place the last thing i really need to do is to get the esc programmed i was going to borrow a program card off of my neighbor backyard rc but i decided to go ahead and purchase my own now this is the Hobbywing OTA programmer. I can hook this up to the ESC and then control everything from my phone. So to get this ESC programmed, it looks like all I need to do is go ahead and remove the little piece up front here. And then plug the module directly into the ESC. This is the Redline battery I showed you before. There are two bullet plugs that go on either side. I just went ahead and soldered some wires on there and put an XT60 connector at the end. And on my iPhone, I installed the Hobbywing Link version 2. And when you fire up the app, it's gonna ask if it can use Bluetooth, which I will need to let the app do. All right, so safety first, I did put this up on a Crawler Innovations cell block just to get the wheels off of the table in case this thing decided to take off on me. I'll go ahead and get my radio fired up. And I'll get the car plugged in which is really hard to do with one hand. All right, and last thing to do is to go ahead and hit the power button. All right, so it may be a little noisy with the fan running, but you can see the Hobbywing ESC, the light is blinking, and on the module, I have a steady red light. All right, so on the app, I wanna go ahead and click the little chain link up top here, and then I wanna select the Hobbywing ESC module, and then enter in the default password. So with that now connected, I have four little boxes at the bottom. I have parameters, firmware update, data log, or settings. I'll try firmware update, see what happens. Now the model is the CAR ESC, hardware version Z-Run XRA Pro G2, firmware version XR 
5.03. Target version is the 5.4.03. So at the bottom I did So at the bottom I did click firmware update. I am running through the update right now and it's showing the percentage on the screen here if you could see that. And my fan is racing like a jet plane trying to take off. Alright, so a message just popped up that my firmware upgrade was successful, so I'll hit confirm. So it looks like after I did the update, my Bluetooth became unconnected, so I'm going to go ahead and reconnect. Default password. So now that I'm reconnected, I'm going to hit parameters. And I'm going to go through my menu. Now the first thing I'm going to look at is running mode. It says forward with brake. I want to go ahead and change that. I want forward reverse with brake. I'm running on a backyard course, I'm not in competition, so I definitely want that reverse. Max reverse force is set at 25%, I'll leave that alone. Lipo cells, it says auto calculate, so yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and leave that. Cutoff voltage is set for 3.5, I'll leave that. Now I do want to run a higher BEC voltage, so I'm going to click on BEC and then using this little toggle, kind of scroll wheel thing that comes up, I'm going to click on 7.4, this will give me higher speed and higher torque in my servo. Alright, sensor mode is full sensor, gonna leave that alone. Motor rotation, everything is good there. I did try this out as it was and everything worked well. And I think everything else I'm gonna leave as it is for now until I get familiar with this ESC and this motor. Now with this module app combo, you get a ton of tuning options. Very, very cool. If you have any suggestions or anything I should be looking at or doing, please let me know, but for now I'm gonna leave things as they are besides the few changes I made, just until I get familiar and comfortable with everything. Now the last thing I want to do before I leave this app, or leave this, say, screen, is hit save. And then I have some tips. Move the throttle stick to the bottom position or neutral position. Disconnect the throttle connection. Otherwise, parameter adjustments won't be saved. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my ESC, which will kill that fan that's running like a banshee. And I'm going to unplug my little Bluetooth module. And I'll plug this little grommet back into the port because I don't want dirt or anything else getting in here. And with that, I think I'm good to go. Now my radio is still on, so I'm going to go ahead and now fire back up the ESC. And I'll give it a little test. Try forward. And I'll try reverse. Now I did set the BEC for 7.4 volts, and I'll notice that mostly when I get out to the track. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the ESC one more time. The thing is very noisy with the fan on, and I feel like I'm competing trying to talk over it. But that is really it. Just disconnected the battery, and I think I'm ready to hit the track. So all in all, very easy to use. I did not even read the instructions, and I got through the first, say, programming of my ESC. So far, certainly happy with this Hobbywing setup, the tunability, and everything else with the app. And this buggy will be hitting the track very shortly. I hope you tune in for the first run of this Losi buggy. It's going to hurt putting it in dirt, actually getting it dirty. It's always painful to watch something so clean get dirty for the first time. But I hope you check it out. I thank you for stopping by to check out this video, and I certainly hope to catch you on the next one.